Welcome back to ODOT, and welcome back to the other 2000s. <laughs> it's like AOL started up. <laughs> I actually, like, did you ever use AOL? Yes. I didn't. I used fucking, uh... Oh, fucking what the hell was it? You gotta check your email. Hey, look, our editing system. <laughs> Long... <laughs> <laughs> no, this, no, this is anti-Mac. Remember, he installed it on his PC. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not using a Mac right now either, but... No, this is also true. But anyway, you got your emails, you gotta check those. Basically, what happened is, is uh, the computer reformatted, then he wanted to know about his emails, because he was like, why? I didn't reformat my thing. What the hell? Now you're caught up. I would never delete these. Is Triage just like Receive Fund? Um, no. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Does he just do those that are worthy as a person? <laughs> no, uh, no. That would be awesome if that, like, an MMO just gave you the power to fucking destroy someone else's computer. <laughs> so, is he, like, 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 in the real world now looking at his computer? Is that Who, how Haseo or Triad? Haseo. Yeah, he's now looking at... Basically, I'm not entirely sure on the whole premise of this, but he's looking at his desktop now. I'm not sure if it's like through the VR or if it's now uh, at but, the computer. Okay, but it's not both of you in the game. No. Okay. This is not the game. Because the, the load up launcher. Uh, this is his desktop. The load up launcher is um, was the thing that said the world. So, this is basically just like connected to the world, I guess, more or less. There are two paths before you. One of these will lead to safety and shame. One it is a path where you give up the world and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. It is a path where you continue the world and resume your search for the truth. Resume. Let me be blunt. The latter path is torturous and will threaten both your mind and body. Once you have chosen it, there will be no turning back. If you still choose to walk this path, then there will be come, then there will come a time when you and I will meet once again in the world. When the time comes, I will once again say this to you. Welcome to the world. Trial and truth. Fucking trivial son of a bitch. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ovan. I'm gonna go back to the world. And then... You get your ass kicked again? I'm gonna get oh. Sino back, no matter what. There's actually some very interesting uh, people involved in the world. So these are, alright, so now there's some very interesting stuff that, well, kind of like, it's all based around the game itself, but these news captures and, uh, or maybe they're not, I don't know, I never, you know, I don't follow news. Never did, never probably will. Oh but, god, um, it's like... <laughs> but see, like, it makes stories based around the game, and okay. it, it gives you actual, like, it sometimes has movies to them, and, like, small little, like, 15 second clips, and it's actually really cool that they do that, That's because crazy. it's... Because it, like it gives you a sense of being in that in this world. And, yeah, it's more immersive that way. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool that they did that. I don't know if we're gonna go through all this every time. Oh, probably not. No, because I barely ever did like went through it. I just kind of like eventually I went through it all just to stop seeing new flashing on it. Yeah. But like I don't know. We're not gonna do that on camera. These will actually some. The stuff here in the community forum will every so often actually come to be useful because you'll actually get different stuff oh, in them. Jesus. Like here, it in these things that deal with the world, you might sometimes actually get words that lead to different areas. So it's every now and then it's good to come back and actually check these. All right, we might do that off screen then. Yeah. Um, I know there's, I think maybe twice in the story where you actually have to come to these forums and use them to get information on TriEdge. But uh, other than that, like they're more trivial than anything, but they do sometimes give actual useful information every so often. Yeah, I will. So it's really cool. Come back to that. Yeah. But now we enter the world. Also, eventually we'll get uh oh, that's the data manager. You might want to save so we don't have to deal with those cutscenes again. Yeah. Right. But uh. They have the option to like change your desktop and the sound play the soundtrack playing on the desktop based off of stuff in the game. But uh So right now we don't have anything, but eventually we'll earn those like, yeah, okay. through different stuff. And once you get different background pictures, you can change the colors behind them as well. 
So I, I literally cannot mess with anything. Oh, I, I mean, like, I don't think white's gonna change anyway. Impossible. Like, we can see. See, see it's like very. Is it, oh, good lord. Okay. Yeah, that's contrast. That's, so let's just wait yeah, for, yeah, so for now, you know, you're not going to have anything, but eventually you will earn stuff yeah, to cool. change that too. Fucking jump into this. You'll get some really awesome, actually, art of, like, Haseo and other characters, and then some... There are actually, like, fan arts that you'll eventually discover, like, you can discover going through some of the different forum styles. Um, they'll actually have, like, fan art that people drew uh, hmm. of Dot .hack, and it's really fucking cool. That, that they added some of that stuff in there. Alright, here's my question. Why did the title screen look like a post-apocalyptic world and it's actually like a beautiful fantasy one? Well, it's more... I guess they were aiming more for steampunk and they just kind of missed the mark on it. They but it's really missed the mark. It looked like Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> he took it. What the... I'm back at level one? Good no. So this episode will probably be the last of the, like... Cutscene, like the multiple cutscene run, because there's still my sky armor. Oh, you'll still have that. They don't. <laughs> I'll leave you that one. <laughs> well, you just like because you never actually get the armor that you were using uh, at the time of uh, at the time of getting reset. So it just you know you earned that item, and it's basically like you basically never changed. Yes, it's a thing. I'm surprised you haven't asked me any questions on that. He would know something. What his arm? Yeah, I figured it was just part of his like weaponry or shit. No, actually, it's not. Is he just a cyborg? I did not read that. I should have. Oh, it was, just, it was basically telling you about the world map and shit, and it was like you can look at this and go walk around the place. So you can actually talk with those people and trade different items with them, and a lot of them will have like stuff that you may or may not want, depending. But we don't have anything to give them besides their sky armor at the moment, so. And they ain't getting that. Yeah. Well, actually, hit start or triangle, and go in your equipment. I don't know if you can actually use the sky armor. Now I will say this: like Haseo's visual appearance does not change with this with the armor or anything. He's because constantly wearing that fucking jacket. For now, yes, it will. His appearance will eventually change, but it's different uh, because uh, he is uh, the class known as an adept rogue. They go through basically almost like an evolution of sorts. After a certain point, they a quest pops up for the adept rogues. Allowing them to ascend and get their second weapon class because Adept Rogues can use three. Mm. So Haseo's chosen. Uh, three classes were the dual, the dual blades, um, the broadsword, and the scythe. Hey, do you know what that guy's job was? Jobs are classes. I didn't look that closely. I did not look like closely. It's a giant pillar. I didn't know we'd be playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I love the early footstep sounds so much. They're so uh, satisfying. It's, it's very, like, just... It's a very detail-driven game. It's very beautiful. Like, the sunlight uh, shine that it does at angles. I oh, love that. Even most modern games don't do that shit. Exactly. I love that. Because it's just, like, it's really trying to immerse you in it just as much as Haseo is really awesome. See, there was always so much love and attention put into these older games. Yeah. Whereas, like, now it's just kind of based around, like, get them out as quickly as possible while making them look like they're, you know, the next generation of gaming. If they have bugs, we'll fix it later, and then they don't fix it, and so it's just, like, a shitty game. It's not all games. We're not just, you know, discrediting any hard-working you know, game development teams out there. Naughty still putting out quality. Huh? Naughty Dog's still putting out quality. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking Square Enix always delivers. Is it Enix or Enix? Square Enix. Enix? Yeah. I guess it's kind of tomato tomato. Right, I, I mean, I guess if it's based off of like the English, English connotation of things, like it would need to be two N's for it to be the, the short, yeah, the short E sound. Enix. 
Oh, I... Yeah, it changes because it's over the cage. Alright. It's awesome. I'm not gonna sit there and do that for a while. <laughs> Just have a fucking montage of you running in circles on the cage. <laughs> Whoops! It's those new layer killers. It's not, it's not much of a challenge when they're so pathetically weak. Says the bitch that got fucking schooled two hours ago. so much. I'm a pineapple. It wasn't that bad? He fucking destroyed you and like 18 other people. More like 20. Now it's actually uh, really cool. These guys are from the largest guild in the game and it's made entirely of PKs. And it's called Kestrel. And that it's a very other it's another cool thing because large guilds in this world, in this game, they get their own area as a guild hall. Hmm. And they can set the guild master can set monsters in it to, for training purposes and shit like that. I thought it was really cool. Fortunately, you never get to experience that kind of thing, which is why I like I always wanted a game of this to be to come out and be real. Because I would have loved to play a game like this. Whoops. Gaspar, you, are you okay? Oh god. <laughs> what, what happened? Are you are you okay? I seriously hope he didn't design his character like that. Yeah. yeah. He did. Hey, hey. I didn't realize we were playing Xena first. Not really, just no, no. I'm not a noob. Hard to say that when you're level one. What? Wait, wait. Are you talking about the famous PKK? Yes. Look at the nameplate. Was it? Was it really? I hate this guy more as he talks. <laughs> See, you're just like Tech, but I love him. He actually, believe it or not, Gaspar, the little pink dog thing, he uh, he actually has some really intense moments. I'm not uh, saying like, he's a bad character, it's just him. his His voice. I mean his voice, just him sporting off bullshit like that. Oh, he, I'm definitely sure. Oh, yeah. But, like, he does get some pretty... No, like, not again. I don't need another tutorial. Yeah, it's gonna kinda be like that, but then it's it's not, it's gonna be like two fights, like to refresh you, because they re the half an hour fucking cutscene. Essentially, that's I think that's what they meant it to be, because they were like, shit, we put a lot of cutscene here, so maybe we should give them a slight refresh. Why would they even have the beginning then? That seems like a big design flaw. Oh, mm, because it kind of wanted you to feel why Haseo hated the game. They could just show. All right. <laughs> it was just completely overhauled. Starting to turn to me. I figured you'd like Haseo's character just because, like, he's that kind of like I don't give two fucks. I'll do what I need to do, kind of guy. I wouldn't. I would have walked off about five minutes ago. Well, I mean, you can't really go into an area level one on your own. You'll get ass mastered. Now see, one thing I really like about this game that I wish like MMOs in general would take from is that this game's EXP system is really well done. Like you can go out and grind and it won't feel like the grind. You'll feel like you're actually fucking doing something. Do we have to grind? Is grinding necessary to progress? Um, not through the entire game, no. Because like you'll go through these areas and you'll fight plenty of enemies. I personally just like grinding to the top level because it's quick and easy and then it puts you at the top. It puts you at the level cap. And there are spot like there are spots in the game or yeah, in the game where like you'll come across enemies that are specifically set at a certain level. What the and fuck did you just call me? Did I see human scum? I don't think so, yeah, no. You better be yo, you motherfucker. <laughs> what? You wanna fucking fight? But anyway. there's like uh, spots in the game where the enemies that you fight, like certain event fights, you know, they'll uh, 
the people that you're fighting will be a certain specific level. They're set to be a specific level, uh, no matter like what you've done in the game. So I like to hit top level just because it'll put me at a better advantage at that point. You know, it's something you could just like do, and it doesn't. You're going to the dome, yeah. Uh, and it doesn't feel like the grind. Like you feel like you're going out and doing something because you're getting, you're constantly getting better gear. You're constantly like boosting your skills and shit, and it's awesome. And like you can do it on your own, test yourself, and then you run into my favorite guy, known as Doppelganger. He has nothing to do with the story. He is just a soul, solely a thing in the game, and it's awesome. Because he shows up for one specific reason to kick your ass. Huh. I will be the one kicking ass. Dude, do doppelganger's tough. I was not paying attention to what he was saying. Oh, you just go to the bookmark. It had the red check on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then after you've gone to this bookmark, now you can use all of those words separately to make other okay. areas, which is cool. And as you get, like, once you go through, like, the, uh, the other few games, there will be more area designs. Mm -hmm. But I think for this game specifically, there's, like, a cycle of, like, maybe nine. But, like, three of them are of the same area, like, phase shifted in different... Uh, different times of day okay. sometimes there's rain effects as well actually making it hard for you to see the enemies hmm. yeah there's also one character that I think you'll probably hate as much as I hate claptrap because I honestly I think I hate him slightly more than claptrap yeah I enjoy claptrap well yeah. this guy you'll probably just get kind of fed up with I don't know if you, like, the day you walked in and saw me playing this, like... I don't know if you saw Mecha Grunty. Yeah. Or should we cut this, by the way, after we're done talking? Uh, probably. And then we'll get into the fucking ass-kicking. We'll do... And we usually do three episode, uh... runs, but we'll do four, so we can get some action butt-kicking in there for you. Actually, I mentioned Perfect World. The guild I joined, uh, the guild master and the like vice guild master, essentially the second in command, uh, they were gay for each other. It was really cool. Interesting. <laughs> it was my first experience of something like that. Hmm. It was awesome, actually. They were really cool people. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, we will see you for some true action butt kicking in the Bye. next one. What do you have, dear? <laughs> what do you have, Marty? Morty, make sure go to the fucking Wit Brothers. Get us some meat. <laughs>